Hello and good morning to all. Here I am in front of you to explain the different layers of web. Let's get started. The layers of the web refer to the different layers of content and accessibility that exist on the internet. They can also be referred to the different components and level of the internet infrastructure. The three main layers of the web are Surface Web The Surface Web, also known as the Visible Web or the Indexed Web, refers to the portion of the World Wide Web that can be accessed through search engines and other public means. It includes websites, web pages, and other online content that is easily accessible and can be found through search engines like Google, Bing, or Yahoo. The content on the Surface Web is indexed and cataloged by search engines, which use specialized software called web crawlers or spiders to systematically browse and index web pages. This allows users to search for and find specific information and content on the web, including news, articles, images, videos, and other types of media. The Surface Web represents only a small fraction of the entire World Wide Web, estimated to be less than 4% of the total content available. Next up we have the Deep Web. The Deep Web, also known as the Hidden Web or the Invisible Web, refers to the portion of the World Wide Web that is not indexed or easily accessible through search engines. This includes websites and online content that are not publicly available and require special tools or permissions to access. The Deep Web includes a wide range of content, including private social media accounts, online banking systems, government databases, academic research, and other types of content that are not meant for public consumption. We need special tools and permissions to access Deep Web. Let me share you a few examples of Deep Web. Make a private Facebook profile. Congratulations! It's on the Deep Web. Login in to your Amazon account. You're on the deep web. Go to your edit profile page on Instagram. Tada! You're on the deep web. Much of the deep web is made up of content that is relatively benign and harmless, such as academic research and government databases. It is estimated that deep web consists of 90% of total web data. And finally, we have the dark web. The dark web is a subset of the deep web that is intentionally hidden and requires specific software or configurations to access. It is accessed through specialized anonymity networks, such as Tor or I2P, that encrypt and anonymize traffic and allow users to browse the web anonymously. The dark web is known for hosting a variety of illegal activities, including the sale of illegal drugs, weapons, and stolen goods, as well as hacking tools and services, counterfeit currency, and other illegal products and services. It is also known for hosting a variety of underground forums, chat rooms, and marketplaces where individuals can engage in illicit activities and exchange information anonymously. Due to its anonymity and the illegal activities that take place on the dark web, it has become a popular destination for criminals, hackers, and other malicious actors. However, it is important to note that not all activity on the dark web is illegal or harmful, and there are legitimate uses for anonymity networks, such as protecting privacy, circumventing censorship, and accessing information in countries with restrictive internet policies. The dark web consists of around 4% of total data. Now many of you might think whether dark web is illegal or not. The dark web itself is not illegal. What's illegal is some of the activity that occurs on the dark web. There are sites, for instance, that sell illegal drugs and others that allow you buy firearms illegally. There are also sites that distribute child pornography. It offers plenty of sites that, while often objectionable, violate no laws. You can find, for instance, forums, blogs, and social media sites that cover a host of topics such as politics and sports, which are not illegal. Therefore dark web is not completely illegal. Now you are seeing the amount of data that can be seen through different layers of the web. The surface web shows you around 4% of the web data. The deep web shows you around 90% of web data and dark web shows you around 6% of web data. There are a lot of differences between these three layers of web. Here is a diagram to explain you the differences. Now I am showing you the image of an iceberg. We can relate the visible part of the iceberg which is above the water as surface web because we can easily see the data of surface web. Some examples of surface web are Google, Wikipedia, blogs, e-commerce, YouTube and so on. 
Now the part of the iceberg which is slightly immersed is related to deep web. It is slightly immersed and we can view the information slightly easier. Some examples of deep web are net banking, private forums, hidden wiki. And we can relate dark web as the end of the iceberg which is highly immersed a and needs and a lot of effort to view the information. Dark web includes Tor, anonymous and illegal information. This is all the information about the layers of the web. I hope you all understand a lot about this topic from this video. Thank you all.